Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're going to go over a question I had asked to me. Do you have Linux installed on a laptop? Are you having issues with the laptop mic? Is it not loud enough? Or worse yet, does it automatically default to like a headset that you don't even have plugged in and you have to go change it? I'm going to show you how to fix it in this video. But before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Also, if you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel on Patreon, those links are in the description below. So you've installed Linux onto your laptop. All of a sudden, you've got issues. Your laptop mic isn't working. Your laptop mic, when you record with it, is really quiet. Or it automatically defaults to a headphone jack that there's nothing plugged into. I'm going to show you how to fix that real quick. The first thing you want to do is make sure that everything is updated on your system. So you go on over, go to Software Center. I'm doing this on Manjaro. You can also do this on other Linux distributions. You want to go over to Updates, check for your updates, make sure that everything is updated. And then what you want to do is you want to go down here where it says volume, click on volume. And as you can see right now, my audio control is on digital microphone, family 17H. And this right here, if you see where it says headphones, this was where I kept defaulting to. And I had to manually come in here and change this every time I started the system up. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Okay. But first, before you do anything, make sure you select the microphone that you want. If it's on headphones or something other than that, click on the actual microphone you want. You want it selected. Now let's close out of that. Now let's go to terminal. And in pulse, first thing you're going to do is just put in PACMD. And it's going to tell you, welcome to Pulse Audio 15. Use help for usage information. Here's where you're going to put in help. Now it's going to give you a bunch of commands here. Okay. List modules, list cards, list syncs, list sources. That's what we're interested in. You've switched that microphone source over, so we want to list sources. List-sources. There they are. Okay. Now, as you can see, you're going to show five sources. Index 0, which is an output. There's an input, but it's not. If you notice over here, it's not marked. Then you scroll down a little bit. Index 2, it isn't marked either. Index three, there it is. This right here is the one that's marked with the asterisk, which is the one you just selected down here. So you scroll down, and if you see device, master device, you'll see in between the quotes is a name. What I want you to do is highlight it, copy it, right click, and copy. Okay? Now that you have that, close out of the terminal. Now open the terminal back up, and here's what you're going to type sudo nano and you can see it there slash etc slash pulse slash default dot pa and hit enter then it's going to ask for your password go ahead and put your password in now it's going to bring up the pulse audio file now what you're going to want to do is scroll towards the bottom and you'll see that it says make some devices default it says set default sync output, set default source input. You see that right below that you see set dash default dash source. Type that in. Just arrow up with your arrow keys over to the end of here, double space, and then just type set dash default dash source. Once you've done that, make a space right click and paste what you just copied a while ago see what that says right there it's pasted in there which means it'll automatically load that source upon reboot now before you do anything else you need to go to firefox you're going to want to go to pulse audio i'll put this link in the description down below because it's going to wiki arch linux title pulse audio microphone echo noise cancellation What's awesome about this is this will actually take out noise cancellation and improve the quality that your mic records at, okay? 
So when I include this address down below, just click on it and it will bring you right here to microphone echo noise cancellation. What you need to do is right here where the three pound signs start, highlight, go all the way down, right click and copy. Okay, once you've done that, come back over here where you were just at. Scroll all the way to the end, right below where you said set default source. It's going to have allow for additional, include, and then it ends right there. Arrow up to that. Hit enter twice. Then just right click and paste that noise cancellation right there. Okay, now that you've done that, this is where the magic comes in. Hit control O. And it'll say file name to write to, slash etc, slash pull, slash default PA. Hit enter. And it's written. It's saved. Now you can control X. You're out of there. What you'll want to do now is restart your system. And when you restart your system, your microphone will automatically load to the proper and you'll notice that it has better sound. When you record, it doesn't sound silent. It's picking up your voice nice and crisp and clear. Just a quick tip for those of you who have Linux on a laptop. Do me a favor before you go today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything. And at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. You want to follow me on my socials? Maybe buy me a cup of coffee. Or better yet, become a patron to the channel on Patreon. Those links are in the description below. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next video.